so many more people that are asking the really tough questions. And that's one of the things Deirdre was saying at the very beginning of our program is we do like the tough questions because those are the ones that need asking. The one interesting problem about being a skeptic is that I encourage you to be so, but if you find a greater truth than that which you had embraced before, now you're obligated to live within that greater truth. And this is, once again, the, the beginning and the ending or the, the, the uh, blessing and the problem of higher truths is once you find a truth, you're obligated to live it. That's why the saying is the truth will set you free, but first it'll piss you off. We need to grow. We That's need to right. grow. And That's if we, right. If you start asking the questions, just be prepared. You might just get the answer. Yeah, yeah, that's true. And you may not get the answer you want to hear either. I mean, that's you know, right. unfortunately, lots of people today want the quick fix. They're not looking to go deep into understanding really what needs to happen and what is going on. And, and that's what I really like about um, taking a look at people and uh, as a whole human being as a whole individual and and you look at their chakras their auras everything that's going on within them on on every level right down to the the lining of their you know atoms and everything proton electron neutron you know like looking at a person as a whole spiritual being and then taking the layers of onion skin off one by one as you look at them and see where they are and why they are there and really help them go deep and understand why and what and how and, and work with them to fix them, you know, because people today want the quick answers and they walk out and they go, okay, um, I'm fixed. And then an hour later they're going, exactly. well, how come I feel the same way? Well, it's because they, they're not taking the time to really do the work. And, you know, this has hit different cultures in different ways because of the way that the culture enforces a kind of a Western eight to five, you know, work ethic and um, the 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 more materially centered um, centric type of thinking about everything is about money. And so in Japan, they, they've coined a term called hikomori. Hikomori is a one of the biggest social uh, and health problems facing Japan, it's, it's where many, many people lock themselves in their rooms for long periods of time because they don't even want to go out of their house. Oh. They, they have become so isolated. It's called hikomori. I mean, excuse me, hikikomori. And um, this is uh, hitting the headlines, you know, and I suspect that because Japanese is so westernized, their society, is that this actually happens a lot in other Western countries from Europe to Canada to the U.S. And so, you know, there's a lot of people that are looking for answers, but there's also a lot of people who are very overwhelmed by the very society that we've created. Well, this is it. And, you know, um, it's not unlike what has happened over the centuries, you know, different countries coming in to conquer other countries and telling them how they have to be and what they have to do and what they have to follow. And when you start to lose your own personal identity, when you start to lose that connection with Mother Earth or uh, your complete understanding of how the solar system works and why it works, because you're listening to what someone else's ideas are supposed to be better, you yeah. do why you know you that, want to lock yourself away. Yeah. You know that sentence you just said, you know, should be in marquee lights and big gothic letters on a sign, you know, because, you know, we joke about getting back in touch with Mother Earth. But, you know, we're really talking about really acclimating ourselves back into nature. But a lot of people, they, they're they so reticent to do that because they misunderstand what it means. They think, right. oh, you want me to go hug a tree? Yeah. It, has, it has nothing to do with that. Nothing at all. No, it's, you know, get your body back into the rhythms of the earth. To, you know, um, Precisely. understand elect electronically, electricity, electromagnetic. <laughs> just understand yourself, right? Exactly. Um, <laughs>